Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing fantastic. Ah, oh, it was a bit of a, of a snooze fest that match, but we made it through. We got the win. It's very important. Um, just to kick things off, yes, I do not think that that was a red card against Valbuena. I think the ref got it completely wrong. But anyway, before I get into all of that, guys, please don't forget. Like, I thought I was getting good at that. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, let's get right into it. This was a big match, a very important game that we needed to win. And um, thank goodness we came away with the 1-0 score. I think it could have been 2 or 3 if the right decisions were made, especially at the end of the game. Um, first of all, Timo Werner's goal, the way he turned uh, Agbono, I think it was. He turned him um, near, near the halfway line. He kept on pushing, gave the ball to Pulisic, who drove forward, gave the pass to Ben Chilwell, and he crossed it in, and Timo was there to finish it and place it like the Timo Werner that we know he is and what he can do. So it was great to see that again, you know, and unfortunately you start thinking, oh my God, okay, that's a good goal. Um, he started off the move, so he did super well. You're thinking, yes, now Timo Werner is going to run this game. It's going to be something special. Unfortunately, towards the end of the um, towards the end of the half, we looked a bit rusty. Um, West Ham started to gain momentum. It was a bit scary. There was a shot from Jesse Lingard, who's their danger man. Um, but we got away with it, and we went into the second half. Um, in the second half, Timo Werner had another opportunity, which I think he definitely should have put away. Great shot from Mason Mount, who again was our danger man. He was the one running forward and getting um, into those spaces, taking the shots when needed. And it's obvious now that Mason Mount doesn't belong in the double six pivot or whatever uh, Tuchel calls it. He definitely belongs in the, in the front three because his impact is much better there. Um, yeah, he was our most dangerous man, the way he played the shots that he took. Um, yeah, and Timo definitely needed to put that away. Unfortunately, he didn't put it away and, you know, that was just what it was. Uh, but in interestingly enough, the game went on. Um, then the red card situation happened. Uh, again, like I said at the beginning of the, uh, of the video, I do not believe that that was a red card. Um, I think the ref got it completely wrong. There's nothing the player can do with the follow through like that if he's kicking the ball away. I don't know what exactly the rules are for this kind of thing, but I'm pretty sure um, there has to be some sort of leniency towards a player that's clearing the ball and his leg makes contact with um, with the opposing player. I definitely do not think that it, it was a red card. I think the ref got it uh, absolutely wrong. Um, I mean, as a Chelsea fan, I guess I'm, you know, I'm happy that that happened. Obviously, it makes the game easier for Chelsea so we can see out our 1-0 and grab the three points. But at the end of the day, I think the referees should do much better. English refs are, um, have this thing of just getting it completely wrong at times. And this, I thought, you know, this referee would be able to rectify, you know, most of those things and just make the right decision. And he didn't, unfortunately. Um, yeah, moving on to... Um, Ziyech coming on. Ziyech looked lively when he came on. I think this would have been the game for him, um, especially after we scored the goal. But he came on at the right time. He made the right passes. He made some runs where I think N'Golo Kante should have found him in the first place. He beat the defender, carried on running, and then tried to chip the ball over to Ziyech, but it didn't work out. Ziyech also came on taking shots, looking for the openings, dribbling. So he looked lively. I think everyone... <laughs> In this team wants to play against Real Madrid on Tuesday so everyone came out showing what they could do um, Tammy Abraham included when he came on he looked lively he looked good almost scored at the end there the ball was a bit too high again I think Mount decision making is important I think Mount should have found um, Ziyech who was on the um, behind the last defender all on his own and that was a simple tap in for him but it happens. We got the win. That's the most important thing. Um, we're, what, I think we're three points above West Ham right now and five, five, four points above uh, Liverpool, which is fantastic. Um, one point behind Leicester. Um, Leicester have kind of, you know, up and down runnings for the rest of the season. So do we. I think out of the, in the top four race, I think West Ham have the better kind of run of games. So it's important for us 
to put in as much effort in every single game um, in the Premier League that's left. Fulham is next at home. We, we should win that game. We sh definitely should win that game. But again, you know, it's Chelsea Football Club. We never know. Anyway, we go to Madrid um, on Tuesday, I think it is. Tuesday wins. I think it's Tuesday, so it's going to be a big one. Hopefully, we can grab a couple of away goals and come back and defend our lead at the bridge. I will see you guys for the pre-match um, of the Chelsea versus Real Madrid game. And yeah, good win. Got the three points. And I'm out. Peace.